Mm. What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Jasmine Brand. Oh, I'm Ari. <laughs> Oh, Ari Lennox. Ari Lennox. I'm Ari Lennox. Okay. Uh, she said that really sexy. I'm like, um, baby face. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I said that all. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, first of all, I love that we have the two of you here together. Yes. Honored. That's great. Yeah. So Ari Lennox has a new album out. Yeah. Age, sex, location, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then <laughs> Babyface. You're actually featured on his album that's coming out in yes. October. I can't wait. I'm honored. Uh, I can't wait. Yeah. I'm so. honored too. Thank you. Big honor. This Thank is really so cute. Much. I love yes. this. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> and listen, I wanted to, one thing we were talking about before you came in here. Mm-hmm. Um, so you have a 14-year-old daughter, right? Yes. And that that's the only girl you have? Yes. All right. So we did want to start this off by giving you some tips about um, how girls are different than boys when it comes to raising them. Okay, tell me. Are you nervous? Like, is I'm having a daughter making you more I've nervous? I've had like two uh, <laughs> drinks, so I'm good. <laughs> so what, how, having a girl different than two boys? Yeah, like I just was thinking about, cause I have an older brother. Yeah. And I think I probably was more challenging. You think when, so? Yes, a thousand percent. Okay. When it came to my parents and like how difficult I was. I feel like I was a lot more rebellious than he was. But is that because you're younger? Yeah, I'm younger. Yeah. And she's younger too, right? She's, she's younger, younger, yeah. Yeah. But there's a difference, yeah. She mm-hmm. she's certainly not rebellious, but certainly, you know, got her own her, her own way. And and you Does can't, she get away with more? She get um yes and no. It's it, it's a different kind of getaway with stuff. Mm-hmm. So it, it's mm-hmm. not really cuz the boys were like they're they're older now, so there there's a difference there because it's a different time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So like there's they're um, 26 and and 21, and so she's 14, and there's a big difference in those years that happen. Right. What's happened with social media and everything? Yeah. The world yeah. the world is different. So raising a child now is different than raising. It's a child scarier, years you now. think, a little. No question. Right. No yeah. question. There's so much more room for exposure with um, the internet and just everything that's going on these days. Think about what were we doing when we were 14? Hmm. Thank God God I didn't have social media. That's just an added element of already like growing up too. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I was playing Roller Coaster Tycoon and Zoo Tycoon on on the PC, on the computer PC windows. And yeah. You were a sweetheart. Yeah. Or no. (laughs) Actually at all. I I was I was such a uh, dramatic. I'm still very dramatic. Mm-hmm. So you're still yourself, but you just were you creative uh, <laughs> when you were when you were younger? Were you creative? Oh yeah, I was. My grandma said I was writing like little songs um, at like four underneath her porch oh, or wow. uh, her. Uh, what's the back? The back uh, one. There's the a deck. porch and then there's a deck. There's a deck. Yeah, mm-hmm. deck. Yeah, mm-hmm. the deck. And who can sing in your family? So my grandma Blanche sings okay. and I sing and my mom sang in the choir. Okay, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, so you were mm-hmm. destined for yeah. this. She have a choice. Yeah. She's gonna yeah. get them vocals. Yeah. When well, you have so a name like Blanche, you I, are I, supposed I, to be. Yeah. 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 She can just sing. At it fourteen, so I was um, had just started high school, and that's kind of when my boy craze started. Like I started liking boys. I was I was a dance major. I was a um, into like ballet, technical dance. So I was still obsessed with that. But yeah, I started liking boys around that time. So Fire, same, ballet. I think so. How old is that? Fourteen. Fourteen. Around that time, yeah. <laughs> you like what age? Fourteen. I was. I started high school at thirteen. So I was like, you know, just getting into the the groove of high school and. I saw those those boys that I didn't know, you know, from the neighborhood. It was a whole different group of guys, mm. and the basketball team used to come around. And yeah, I, I had a few crushes. Mm. Does your daughter do- is your daughter into boys yet? She likes some boys, but not seriously. Okay. You know, um, I always get this thing, you know, you know, where you have to be, you have to worry about your daughter, and you know, everybody's gonna be like coming at you. The guys are gonna be coming, and I, I keep on thinking. It's really they're gonna be coming at me saying, "Can you please let her talk to me again?" Because she won't talk to me. It's gonna be the other way around. Because she's she kind of she's, she's kinda independent tough. She's and she's kind of tough. And so I don't worry about her so much in that because she's she seems to be strong. Well, you let yeah. her listen to Ari Lennox's album and she oh, will set them straight. Okay, oh, she, <laughs> she shouldn't. She shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, she, well, no, I I not her songs. Oh yeah, not, not like my songs. Kid or yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
but, that but, was nasty. But everybody, they <laughs> nah, listen to everything now. Huh? Kids listen to everything. Everything now. they yeah. do. Yeah, they, with the internet, it's yeah. so much more exposure for just. Yeah. A lot of stuff I hear there. first on social media, too. Like, I'll hear a song first. I'll hear something first on social media, like TikTok. I'll hear a song. I'm like, who is this? Yeah, mm-hmm. when you see somebody else play it on their page, you're like, and you're like, this? Right. This song? Mm-hmm. And everybody starts using the same song. But anyway, I was saying that to say that if she, even if you try to shelter your kids from certain music, they if they're on social out. media, they're going to. You can you can play that game and say don't listen to that don't listen to this and that but they're gonna listen anyway. Yeah. And Does she listen to your music? She knows it. She knows it. I don't think that she listens to it all the time, but, but she's she, familiar. But she's familiar and she comes to the concert sometimes. Yeah. Am I starting to lisp? Am I? Like, am no. I? Am I? She, 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 I feel like inside my head. I'm, <laughs> Do you feel do you feel nice right now? Where are you on in I'm terms I'm, of your? Yeah, I'm kind of like you know like, cool. And it's like y'all can just say whatever right now. Uh-oh. So oh, that's we what, can. I like this. So don't I'm kind of like Angela feeling that. like. Don't zhuzh. tell me that. I don't want to feel like. <laughs> you don't feel like. Zhuzh. You know what I'm saying? But no, I think that um, she li- she listens to a lot of music, mm-hmm. and um, she's very very versatile in that sense. From music from a long time ago, and she she likes to sing. She's not she doesn't, oh. doesn't want to be a singer, but she likes to sing. And Can so she, she sing that? How's her voice? She she actually does have a voice. Okay. Aww. Has she um, ever um, introduced you to an artist that you weren't familiar with? Yes. Um, she'll there'll be like new people on TikTok mm-hmm. that she'll say this is a good person or this is a good person. So it's all and people that I I wouldn't have heard of and stuff. She probably loves Girls Night Out. That's all I was say. I'm sure she likes a lot of because you have like I feel like you have a nice young fresh. A, we were saying it. how it's mm-hmm. still it's very timeless like yeah. you know how sometimes artists that have been around as long as you have might feel like okay you know this sounds dated but it doesn't sound dated not at all. all yeah it doesn't yeah i mean look she's she's not always like like right now she's really into giving on so and so I like him. we're gonna go see him mm-hmm. um nice. and that's like she texts me about three times she's like, are we going? Are we going? She um, make sure. Sure. So, so so it varies in terms of she she picks different people she it it's really weird to watch the kids today because they're not on one, any one particular thing. It, it's really all around from, mm-hmm. you know, where, at least in California anyway. How did you get up on Ari Lennox? Like, what made you say she's on Girls' Night Out for sure? Um, to be honest, you know, um, my co-producer, Anarika, actually introduced me. She said, you need to listen to Ari because Ari's the wow. one. And then when I listened to her, like, how could you no not? Wow. You know, because you know, like, <laughs> there's such a... Ari's got this natural thing about her that um, when she sings, I know people compare her to Badu a little bit, just to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, but then when I actually heard her, I said, no, nah, she's, that's not Badu. That's that's Ari. She's got her own thing. That's Blanche. Oh, and, thing. <laughs> that's Blanche. That's Blanche. Oh. That's Blanche. <laughs> and, oh, and, wow. and, and, it's, and it's just fresh and new. And so I was excited <laughs> to have Ari come in. And then when she came in and then we started talking and she's so, so nice and so sweet to talk. And then, you know, we talked about, you know, what kind of record we want to do and I said, are you in love? She said, I ain't in love. Mm. Said, no, we can tell by this yeah. album. Right. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm Why just... you said that? You've never been in love? Never in my life. No, I don't wow. believe that. Okay. Never. Have you ever thought you were in love? I think I'm in love the first day and I see somebody <laughs> so fine and they're making me laugh. Like, So I know it's not love. It's yeah. never been love. Okay. It's just a lot of romanticizing and... Um, delusion. <laughs> Are you delusion. scared to be in love? Not delusion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am scared to be in love. I'm scared to be hurt or cheated on. And uh, yeah. Have That's you ever fair. been have you ever been cheated on? You know, sometimes I've wondered, but I've never had any proof or yeah. anything like that. Or it won't even make it long enough for him to start doing that I right. guess but that's gonna be a good album <laughs> yeah oh wow <laughs> oh right? no <laughs> 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 heartache, heartache hurt hell no, though right no I, I usually look for pain the pain is a good thing oh. um just, it, it, for on, on records anyway not <laughs> not in life <laughs> but you know you can express so much better when you've been hurt um yeah but yeah there's but that's the funny thing it you sing like you've been hurt mm. oh you, I have okay I've been hurt deeply, but uh, yeah, just I just haven't experienced like romantic that particular hurt. love. That yeah, that particular. I got you. Oh, I've, oh, men have hurt me. Just uh, I just don't know. Have, yeah, yeah. Well, have you hurt anybody? Oh wow! Damn. Yes. Wow. Probably. 
it's so hard for me to face my damn self. Yes, <laughs> I, I've, yeah. I've definitely hurt. You mean like romantically, some yeah, guys? Yeah. yeah, probably. Broke mm-hmm. a heart too. Probably. I'm usually the one who breaks up. Really? Because I I feel something isn't right, and I think it's because I'm an anxious attachment style, and I to protect myself. I I uh, or sense. maybe a little avoidant as well, because mm-hmm. um, to protect myself. But it's quality, like bullet points of why I would yeah. break up with right. a person. But uh, what kind of relationships were around you growing up? Oh, like what, what do you mean? Like, like successful marriages? Did you see a oh, lot of? Wow! Oh my goodness! <laughs> <They're going in. laughs> well, uh, there were none. My parents were married, but they they didn't really like each other like well they mm-hmm. liked each other but they didn't really feel in love they, they weren't really feel doing like, like romance with each other they my were parents just, were like that too yeah. so i totally they were married wow. they waited till i graduated from college to get divorced exactly because you know sometimes they feel mm-hmm. like we're gonna be devastated or something yeah. exactly as soon as i graduated mom was like your father and i got divorced <laughs> <laughs> like, damn okay. like oh okay but wow. also i feel like you know it really does affect what you see in terms of growing up with relationships, mm-hmm. whether oh, it's good absolutely. or bad, it does affect, you know, how you are in your relationships and stuff like that. Like she was saying, like she has an anxious attachment sort of thing that may have something to do with your, absolutely. your parents. And absolutely. It does affect, you know. Yeah, I think bad. so. My yeah. mom is very secure, chill, and my dad is like the complete opposite. Well, he's he's he toys with anxiety, avoidant type personality so like yeah it, it made sense that it it worked for so long with them because she's more like confident stable like mm-hmm. she's able to deal with his intense ways yeah so I it's figured, a balance yeah, they, yeah, balance each other yeah. Out. they balance each other out yeah but um yeah i think i would probably need someone very secure because do you Jesus. feel like you have a little bit of both of them in you i do yeah I aspire to be like my mom <laughs> in her like unbothered, like so chill, calm. I feel you are very chill, mm-hmm. calm, unbothered. It does seem like it, right? Yeah. Secure. Are you like that behind closed doors too? Right. I can Ooh. be unchill sometimes. Can you? Wow. I can't see that. I, can't I mean, not that I'm either. personally, but you know, yeah. even can talking you, to you for this little bit of time. Can you give us an example of you yeah. being unchill? Do it now. I cannot. Is there an example you can give us of where, you know, you weren't like this even. It takes a lot to get me there. Okay. Wow. I'm with um, you there though. Wait, what's your sign? Aries. Okay. Oh yeah. my God. How in the world? <laughs> what do you mean? How You're are, how nice are Aries? and like calm. Well, most Aries you know are not that way. They were heinous creatures. Heinous. <laughs> heinous yeah. creatures. That's a strong you, word. Wow. You, you seem so. I don't need to know these Aries you have. Oh, <laughs> <sorry. Take them. laughs> but you seem so mature and evolved and just. I mean, he is. Yeah. yeah, and by the way, got a full head of hair still. Yeah, okay, no hat it's, fishing hair. Right? Yeah, none, none of that. Yeah, hang you're hang like on. I never That's seen you without your so hair. Right, right. He don't have no stress. No so stress. He keeps his hair. That's not true. Stress no. So <laughs> you, you, it's, it's my mama's jeans. Wow. So. Nice. So. Yeah, no, you're very fortunate. You know how wow. many people. You see that guy with his hat on right there? <laughs> Why? Yes. Why? 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 Oh, 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 yeah, there. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Sorry. I like it. Nice hair. It's there very yet. beautiful. <laughs> yeah. You are awful. <laughs> you are awful. But um, what did you see growing up, baby face? Like, as far as relationships, did you see a lot of love around you? Well, my mom, uh, I lost my dad when I was like uh, 14 years old. Oh, and uh, my mom had to raise like six boys. Oh, wow. And oh, uh, so I, I was raised in, you know, around them. Um, a woman that was a very strong woman because she had to she have a choice. six knuckleheads you mm-hmm. know not just boys but knuckleheads and we were all you know all going different ways and and she was just uh, she was just very supportive for each and every one of us you know mm-hmm. it was like everything that we did you know in school or whatever she would show up every time and mm-hmm. and she had to work and and so you know early early years you know when my father was around because he he passed away uh, with uh, lung cancer. And before he was, he was like pretty quiet and um, kind of a hard guy. Couldn't really talk, talk to him, Mm -hmm. you know. So um, sometimes I could hear them argue. I don't know. Had he lived that it would have been 
great the whole time. Mm -hmm. I couldn't, I was too young to really know what was happening. But I know that um, as I grew older, I was thinking about what their relationship was like. And I don't know that it would have lasted as wow. much, you know, because he didn't, uh, he didn't like her work and he didn't like the idea of her mm. working and, and, and she wanted to work. She was like, when she was in a uh, high school, she, she graduated like at 16, went to college at 16 years old, wow. And, wow. you know, and, um, Lit. and mm -hmm. then she only went two years cause then she met my dad and then, you know, she started having started kids. Having babies. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, uh, yeah, so you were kind of the opposite, right? Because then you got married and you actually, in your first marriage, you guys both worked a lot and, yeah. and supported each other and you wanted your wife, like you supported yeah. that she supported you and what you were both doing. Yeah. So uh, for me, it's, it can, it can be either way, but I think, I think in general, just working, every woman should, um, as I want to push my daughter, you should be independent. Yeah. You should have your own thing. You should never just depend on a guy and um, vice versa. Yeah. No one should just depend on each other. You should always kind of like, you know, be there for each other in the sense of, you know, working and, and bring something to the table. Right. I think that means that means a lot more, especially, you know, because you, you never know whether something's going to work or something's not going to work. So um, it's best to kind of like always have your own thing a little bit. That's right. I'm not moving into your house. Right. Were your parents, either your parents musical? Could anyone sing? My like, dad could sing a little bit. Okay. And my mom always said she could sing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> she, she wasn't no Blanche. She could sing a little bit. Oh, okay. She wasn't Blanche. Right? Oh, <laughs> she wasn't no Blanche. She wasn't no Blanche. Like, what about your grandparents? Anybody play instruments? Uh, I, it, you know, it all kind of started, from what I can tell, it started, you know, with with our family and my brother Melvin, uh, who was an after seven. He's yeah. not with us anymore, but he's an after seven. And, and Kevin, you know, mm -hmm. they had like amazing voices. So it all kind of started there. Hmm. And. I followed my brother Melvin. I saw him sing, and I just, ooh, I want to do that. Nice. You know, because he was so good at wow. it. Wow. That's an amazing story. You guys were like the Von Trapp family from The Sound of Music. Yeah, they like we the didn't, Von But, you know, funny <laughs> enough, we didn't, we, didn't walk, we didn't sing around the house. We didn't sing with each other. It wasn't that kind of musical house. Every, we, there were six boys, thing. and everybody kind of had their own their thing. Own thing. Yeah. Everybody was individual, so we weren't really that. We got closer as we got older, but as kids, everybody had their own friends and went their their own way, so to say. I always think those kind of talents are genetics, though. Like, mm -hmm. I always feel like, that's why I was like, who was singing? Like, who, you know, but right. apparently, but you don't know, maybe like your great, great grandmother or maybe, right. you know, you right. could go back deep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had an uncle that thought he could sing. Uh, <laughs> and he was a songwriter. He would always keep on giving me lyrics and stuff. Oh. I got me another song for you. So. <laughs> Did you ever use any of his? I wanted to, but just wasn't good. <laughs> no, it wasn't good enough. No. He said I wanted to. <laughs> so nice. That's good, right? Now, Ari, now that you're you are single now, yeah. oh, what yeah. type of guy would you say you're looking for? Being that you know everything that you've been through, we've seen some public relationships, but mm -hmm. now you're single. Yeah. So learning from past experiences, mm -hmm. what are some of your never agains, and what are your some of this is what I do need? Well, damn, I don't <laughs> want to be. Ah, oh, shit. So, <laughs> like, what are, like, so what, what are... Like, what, what are, would you say is a uh, non-negotiable? I am not ever messing with somebody that... That doesn't have their own place. Woo! Because uh, where am I coming to? Yeah, yeah, where am I coming to? <laughs> yeah. Uh, somebody with a really nice job. Like, mm -hmm. a okay. really, really nice job. Someone who's really sweet. Okay. Mm. Like, be really nice. And uh, these are simple things. Yeah. yeah. Right? Your like, own place, a job. A job. Yeah. You know, yeah. a decent Some, job. Someone, <laughs> your own place. Right. And someone who can. So, you dated somebody without their own place? Once before. She was probably so, younger, though. So, what was that like? Like, where did you guys. Did he just have to come to your house? He just have to come to your house? Yeah, he was always coming to my house. Did he have a key? He, nah, he never. Nah, okay, no nigga that ever had a key. <laughs> <laughs> she said, no, no, no. Yeah, nah, no one ever had a key. That happened to me once. Really? Fresh out of college, yes. Oh. I definitely got bamboozled. First of all, I got the guy a it's, job. They never just tell you straight out the gate. He it's was always, like a... Because like, you wouldn't have dated him then. No, I knew huh. he didn't. I was, yeah, you wouldn't have dated him. Exactly. You wouldn't have dated him. I ain't got exactly. no job. I, I ain't got no place. he didn't have his own But she wouldn't have dated him. Well, how did he get you? If he didn't have anything, how did he get you How did he land you? How did that happen? I, I know how he landed. How did he get you? Well, uh -oh. was this before or after Shea Butter Baby? 
It's long before. Okay. Long okay. before <laughs> Shea Butter Baby. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> long before. Long time ago, days. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got it. Okay. <laughs> right. But yeah, how did so? How did he get you? Like what? How did he get me? Yeah. He made you laugh. He. It was more. What I don't even know. It was just huh. thriller. It just felt like a. I don't know. It felt like there was like darkness there, Uh-oh. but you were then I, I was him. intrigued. Yeah, mm. and uh, he, but he wasn't that funny at all. I guess he uh-huh. he, he was very. <laughs> How was the he sex? was actually corny. It was very dark. It wasn't. It was lights off. <laughs> it was actually just straight to the point. It wasn't even uh-huh. great. He it wasn't was, even doing foreplay. Boo. It was. It was no. That's it was, why he's it was, no longer around. It was yeah. very, very basic. Regular, very yeah. basic, terrible. Oh wow! So you think it was like right timing? Time, sometimes yeah, you're like, timing, yeah. I'm bored. And listen, it's funny because you have this wasting time song, yeah. and Brent Fias has a song called Wasting <laughs> Time know. too. You then, know? But I like the way they both kind of like it's from a woman's point of view and a male's point of view. They kind of are similar. I'm so hypocritical and delusional because I was like, I can't listen to Brent. Like his music is so toxic. And then I realized, <laughs> my oh my, my, my right. I'm also very toxic yeah. a little bit. So it was a nice like eye opening moment. Like could do a collab, a wasting the, time yeah. remix yeah. for each other. Yeah, Everybody's that toxic would be. Though, yeah, mm-hmm. we all have it, have it in us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. I do love Brent, so I. I would love to do that and i have to just face my truth like it's it's, it's in there that toxic shit you got it's it. in there it's okay yeah. it's mine it's 2022 we toxic too baby Listen, yeah. balance. but i want to it's grow. not just the men yeah true no, true, true. Yeah. baby face has anybody ever thought you were toxic as you were coming up in this because you always seem so nice so even those we don't be the handle. headaches though those guys that are you really chill. And- we because sometimes we do want you to like be super emotional and like spicy. Yeah, baby. spice spicy. it up. Get mad at us. Get up. Raise your voice. You know, I I always used to be worry about being the nice guy because being too nice then you then you lose out too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so like because you could always watch a certain kind of guy go into the room and get the girl immediately. You don't know what he say. He just whispers something. Like whoever got Ari. And then, and no yeah, whoever place got, to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No oh. foreplay and that no dude, terrible sex. Damn. That dude went and said something to her and then she said, all right, I'm down. Yeah. Where I'd go up and be nice and she's like, eh, yeah, I don't boring. think so. You're, yeah. you're boring. boring. Nice nice adds up to being boring. Usually, um, until you've like been... You've dated people and then you got messed around and everything. You said, I just want nice. That's what Ari just said. You know, exactly. I want this nice, what, sweet guy with his you know, own cause, place. <laughs> because I think a lot and of guys, we, <laughs> we yeah. have a tendency to think the, that you really want to go for the, the bad guy. Mm-hmm. You know, that, Guys kind of like the bad girls too, though, I feel mm. like also. Mm. Do you like bad girls? Bad guys nah. are bullies. No. I don't like. And maybe because I don't think bad girls like me. Mm. Wow. You know, I think you like who likes you it's sometimes. Hmm. Yeah, because like you know, if you go after somebody that ain't, you, no one wants to go up and get embarrassed. Yeah, true. So yeah. normally, when you date somebody, they approach you first. Pretty much, I don't. I, I, I don't. It's not. It's kind of. It's more kind of. I don't go after it if it, if it happens organically. She gotta like let you know, wow. like like if you ask me out, I'm saying I'm, yes. I'm really. <laughs> so you so you rather I don't make a, moves. Do you because you don't want to get wow. rejected? Is that what? I think so. Okay. Oh. <laughs> don't make it How a sad. First of all, reject who's rejecting you? baby face? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's crazy. I don't understand. Who's going to reject Mr. Whip a Pill? <laughs> yeah, I mean, come exactly. on. The nerd. The <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> nerd. But it's interesting. You, you said it's because of reject, like you don't want to be reje- rejected. Yeah, you know, look, when I grew up, I, I grew up like falling in love with girls and getting my heart broke because I. I didn't even really, I didn't even really try, but you know, like I had a really, I don't know, not toxic, whatever. When I first fell in love with this one girl, it it was two years, around the, it's like sixth grade, she came to school and her first day of school and I saw her, I fell in love immediately. (laughs) And I got, started writing. I went home immediately that day and started writing in a diary Mm. and and every day she got on the bus, I'd write, oh, she has on a blue coat and she looked so good oh, today. Wow. And so I was cute. writing all this stuff. And and then um, 
she she kept on kept on getting on the bus and I kept on writing things. And one day my brother Kevin found my diary. No. I know it's the worst. No. And then he found it and my cousin found it and they were inside the living room and they started talking. They started reading my diary out loud and no. I was just dying. So embarrassing. Oh, no. I, oh yeah, I was dying. And so I went and grabbed the diary and I started hiding it outside instead of in the house. Um <laughs> and then um You didn't stop writing though. No, I did, I didn't stop writing, but a big rain came and then it washed it away. It washed so, away. Oh, yeah. Wow, that would have been great for some. It would have been, but no, nah, it's long gone. You're a romantic. Um, mm -hmm. I was at the time. I and was so, at the time. Oh my God. And so I so, <laughs> but basically, I kind of like. Ultimately, my cousin happened happened to know her, know her sister, and then one day she called on the phone. They had her on the phone. They said, "Kenny, telephone." I got on the phone and I said, "Hello." I said, oh, is this, this Kenny? I said, yeah, this is Kenny. She says, I said, who's this? She says, it's Rhonda. I like freeze and I hang up the phone. Oh my gosh. <gasps> no. Yeah, I hung up the phone. So Did she call uh, back? <clears throat> she did not call back. Because um, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to handle it. And so then um, I still didn't do anything. And then this guy named Teddy who was like the cute kid in the class. He had a big afro, light skin, had a big afro. How was your hair at the time? Uh, little fro, okay, um, not not big afro, <laughs> not big okay. fro little and uh, baby fro. and he was like, you know, he had it, he was kind of like good in sports and everything, and he liked her, uh -oh. and okay. uh, and when he started going after, I knew no chance for me, it. right? Yeah. And I was stupid because I was like, yeah, I, you know, she's really nice. He said, he said, I just don't know what to say to her, and you knew everything to say to her. So I wrote a letter. Okay. I wrote the the note, uh, a letter to her from him. And he signed it. <gasps> no. That's when Wait. his songwriting days began. Right. That was the beginning. Whoa. That's the beginning she right there. She had to feel like super huh? rejected, though, when you hung up on her. Well, yeah. She probably I, was confused. I mean, right. yeah, that was, that was confused. She didn't know. And you yeah. wrote an amazing letter. and let Wrote else. the letter. And then so he gave it to her. And they started dating. Because of you. After that because letter. But you. also, thanks to Rhonda, she kind of sparked her writing career wow. on the low. Is she on Facebook? Mm -hmm. Wow. We got to find <laughs> Rhonda. We got to find Rhonda. Rhonda with the blue coat. Rhonda with the blue coat. I don't want to go through because it's a long story. But, uh, <laughs> but ultimately, I kind of still had a crush on it too up through eighth grade to I finally actually, you know, was having conversation with her, walked to school with her. I was like in love, walking to school, had conversation. I was excited. I wasn't shy. I was like, I didn't run away from her. And then, um, long story short, it ended up with a kiss and a diss. Um, two weeks into after school, I went to her house and um, this is hard to tell this because you, you guys miss so much, much in between. But bottom line, we went out inside of, in front of a tree and I said, yeah, I was calling you for the past couple of weeks. And she said, yeah, I've been busy and stuff like that. And uh, I said, okay. So she goes out of nowhere. She goes, kiss me. Oh, wow. That's hot. And this is like, I mean. Rhonda eight. was fast to the pants. Yeah. Rhonda <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> knew what she wanted. Rhonda's okay. awesome. And, and, and I didn't me. know, I was. I had never kissed a girl, and I was really young. That's the only, only kisses I saw was on the TV yeah. show Love yeah. American stuff. So you didn't know how to use so, your tongue or anything? Well, I, tongue? What was that? <laughs> right. So, right. Uh, what was that? I'm still and barely so, know. So I, I leaned in for the kiss, and the kiss was, you know, it was Oh, a pet. Count, count, you know, oh. at least count to four because that's how long they do it on Love America. Big stuff. <laughs> the best and kind of and then I pull back, and then she goes, I'm afraid we're not going to be able to see each other. <gasps> what? And we didn't like the kiss. And, I, and, and I thought it was the kiss. And then she said, You know that guy that I walked out of school with, Tracy? You know, we, we're, uh, we're going Tennessee. together now. So why'd she tell you to kiss her? I she was trying to. I think that she was. was like a kiss trying to make him jealous? I, I think, no. I she think, wanted to check to see maybe if there were sparks? I don't know oh. if there were sparks or, the, or she was being, she knew I really liked her. I think she thought. She's being nice. Let me, let me let him. Let's, Give let me this kiss one him. thing. Let oh. me just do that. You should have been like, oh you know I'm the one that wrote that letter. That's so sweet. That's oh, did she ever find out that you wrote the letter on behalf of her boyfriend? Yes. Funny enough, about five years ago, I found her. See, I knew it. She's on Facebook. <laughs> okay. Um, and I had lunch with her because uh, I wanted to s s tell her everything that I remembered. I only told her pieces because I wanted to see what she remembered. Okay. You know, from the very first time I went on a first date and with did her. Did she? 
she as we started talking then i saw tears started to come from her eyes because she started to remember oh, some of the God. things and that's the thing that i want to why i mentioned it to you because what she said to me was that which was powerful to me because she said you know all my life i've gone through thinking about all the guys that hurt me and i never thought about the guys that i hurt damn Ari. Oh. Oh. No, our new name is Rhonda. Rhonda. We will call Ari Rhonda for no. the rest of this interview. Rhonda, we got a lot of people. Oh okay, we gonna send no. you a blue coat for Christmas. That was amazing. See. Wow. So that was, and that was powerful Not to I'm me. Not Rhonda. I'm Rhonda. 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 That's the twist ending. That's the twist ending. That's fucked wow. up. Wow. Sounds like yeah. the next project is going to be called, I heard a lot of people. Yeah, I heard a lot of people. So <laughs> boring. Don't call me Rhonda. No, you know what's interesting? So let me ask you this, because um, Babyface, you do a great job of writing from a woman's point of view. Yeah. Do you think you could write from a man's point of view? Wow. Um... I've never thought about it. I've never tried. I maybe. I think you could. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I could say something. I think that you, you kind of do anyway, because uh, <laughs> any woman that's independent that's writing from a man's point of view. Mm. Wow. The truth is, when you when you don't care, when you're thinking it just for yourself mm -hmm. and not worrying about what he's thinking, what he's feeling, that's when, because most of the time men aren't thinking about what the women's thoughts are. So wow. So. Eek. <laughs> so I th think that, you know, it's it's easier to go to that. Once you get to that point, just being independent. I, I don't care if you're hurt or whatever. Like, this is how I feel, mm. you know. And in, in all reality, I think a lot of the, um, what I think is different today in most young R&B artists is that they do kind of write. And they do, and they are far more independent than before mm. and so what was fun about doing the girls night out project is that's the one thing that i learned is everybody came in with an opinion everybody came with something to say and they and they were good writers and had good great melody with it had great stories great flow with it and that was not like it was before i used to have to write all the songs but wow. now i take i, I took mm -hmm. joy in co-writing with everybody and, and getting to hear their voices and hear nice. their flow because it's different today mm -hmm. than it was before i feel like you have to be a good listener too you definitely got to listen yeah yeah like you have the song blocking you, right? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're a blocker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm. I, I, I'm a bit childish. <laughs> yeah. I, I am. I really I'm childish. childish. I think yeah. that's just standing. It's your protecting ground. your peace. And yeah. And Sometimes just, I you do know. it too fast. Oh. Uh, like it's like it was, it was not that necessary. Like it was unnecessary. Like, yeah. Like he said he would call me back and. Uh, he was about to go eat something before we talk. Yeah, because I this guy I was talking to, I was like, you know, I think we should talk about something. I feel like something's different. He was like, let me just get, eat something. I'll call you back. I get on the phone with my dad. It was like two long hours. I noticed he didn't call me, and so I blocked <laughs> so the guy. That's how I will say this. I'm though. Like that, though. Yeah. Hold on, I will say this. Mm -hmm. If I need to have a conversation with you, and you tell you. me I have to go eat something first. Yeah, let me call you back. I feel like it's kind of urgent if I tell you that. Yeah, exactly. we don't yeah. have time for you to go that eat. That was so. very avoidant. <laughs> I yeah. think that block was justified. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. No, I, I def. I would. I would I'm definitely trying to think too. about that. Let me think. About that. <laughs> but you're a man. Have you ever so. blocked anyone? Baby I'm, I'm, I'm just calm. trying to think. So, <laughs> okay, it. you want to talk? So, cool. well, I'm going to go eat something first, then we can have a conversation. And then he never called back. It was two, uh, two hours. Two hours is a long meal. Yeah. But well, he you, when you say you want to talk, were you ready to talk right then? Yeah. She wanted to talk mm -hmm. then. But I, I get it's not just about what I want when I want it, but how Where's, long does it take to eat? Yeah. It's not like he's like, I'm going to <laughs> dinner with my friends. I would be kind of upset friends. if I'm like, you could tell me my feelings about something and I want to talk and you're like, well, let me eat something first. But and call I, you I would like to yeah. question, but I, I did want to question though, but, like, did you really say like, it's something I really want to talk about? Like, yeah. I need to talk. Okay. We, we, mm. I said, I, I literally expressed to him. Okay. I feel yeah, like something's changing. Yeah. yeah so, we need to talk now. Yeah. yeah it could have yeah. been mm. quick. He could have been like, yeah. yeah, something is changing, bitch. <laughs> bye. <laughs> like, <laughs> bye. Like, and, and <laughs> and I'm joking. Like, I don't want a yeah, guy to ever that. say that to me. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. Let me ask you. Somebody sent in a question. Mm -hmm. I have a question. If someone says they want to be with you, but not now, what is that really saying? Ooh. Wow. They want to be with you, but not now. Hmm. They want to be, be with have you we like had next sex year? Yet? Yeah. Don't put me so on. Yeah, that's, that's a good oh, question. Uh, 
I want to be with you. I feel because like that means I know I ain't shit right now, and I want to do my. That's thing. exactly what that means. Aww. Yeah, that's what that means. But like, don't try to put me honest, on, on yeah. the on the back burner or put but that, me but on then hold that it the for ball you to in your do your court. thing, and yeah. then you come back to me when you're ready. Like, don't sit me on the shelf. No, but that could be. You could. It could also be something else. Like what? what? I was like, I, I I'd love to be with you, but not now because I'm I'm not in a good space. To I don't be have my shit together. together. Everything. I've had a guy tell me that he didn't feel like he had enough money to like yeah. want to date because he didn't have his shit together. He probably did. And and I, and he might have to have his own place. Right. He was honest with you. Yeah. 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 And I don't have a place. <laughs> like confident in himself to I ain't got it say right that now. to right. you. Some guys would never yeah. even admit that. Right. You yeah. Know? No. So, That's beautiful. But it could be that. You're right. Yeah. It's always, there's always that possibility like that there's a reason, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you say, I want to be with you right now. And say, well, can you tell me why not now? Mm. Okay. You know. Do you think that that should matter though? Like, if you really want to be with somebody, but maybe financially things aren't together, do you think that should matter, or you think he should still go for it? Well, in most cases, you're probably your your first assumption is right. If he says, "I want to be with you right now," then you don't want to really mess mm -hmm, with it anyway. Right. But there's always that possibility that it could be more. But you know, men uh, are, are prideful. And, and they don't always want to say that they, they have less. Right, yeah. Just to even admit that to you is, is oh means God. I'm out the game. You know, I can't talk to you. How, how am I going to talk to you if I ain't got no place yet? Mm. You know, and but I'm going to have a place. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting there, but I'm just not at that level. And and I don't know if I want to take the rejection. And you saying, oh, you ain't got a place. OK, then I want to. It goes back I'm to rejection. That. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe his wife is wouldn't be with it. Oh, <laughs> wait. There's always that. Oh, no, no, no. I just oh, threw that out there. <laughs> that could be the case, though. Hey, oh, <laughs> yeah, you never know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> All right, now, I do want to ask you about this song, Leak It. Oh. Okay, so you and Chloe uh -oh. have a song called Leak It on the album. Yeah. And you're saying, what is it that, um, I took it two different ways. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll be okay. Leaking. <laughs> I'm leaking it one way. What are the Wait, two ways? Which you take it, Jasmine? Which ways you take Just, it? Just you know, leak these pictures, leak this video. No, leak this well, pussy. Oh, okay. okay, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Ari, oh, <laughs> we'll be leaking. Oh, we're leaking the video. Okay, mm -hmm. we're leaking this. Pussy. Pussy. Yeah. yeah. That's the two ways. That's yeah. the two ways. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like when there's double entendres. Yeah. 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 She's a smart writer. Singer. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah. Do you, so do you have pictures like that? Uh, pictures. Yeah, I'm really surprised there hasn't been a scandal. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Spicy. Because that, that is like one of my <laughs> love language or lust languages. I like to show this ass to people that I like and oh. trust. I like to show not... I've never done a, a sex tape or anything like that, but That's I like spicy photos. Yeah, I like I like I'm proud of like my body. Yes, like you look amazing. You know, I look just good. want to throw it out there. Mm -hmm. I said that too on the breakfast. I said, Hey, have y'all seen Ari Lennox? Oh, uh, thanks. So all right, wow. but you see her tipping in here. Thank you. Huh? you see her tipping, you see the, the uh, leg she's giving you. Oh, yeah. oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. So wait, but have you done like little quick videos? Oh what? Like maybe like a fifteen second like Oh my God! Of of <laughs> wait, of, no, of Angela. sucking dick. You said it. No, no, no. <laughs> no she said no I haven't sucked dick in so long. Just a few you said it so long. She, yeah, it's been the spring of 2021. <laughs> Why do you know? <laughs> wow, when she it's knows been. exactly <laughs> right. when the last time. Right. She's like, I haven't just said. She knows where she was at. I'm tired. one. She knows what his underwear looked yeah. like. She remembers every detail. I really do. Oh. So that's like a few <laughs> <whole> year. <laughs> yeah, over a year. Over a year. Does it have to do with your voice or? I just, I just trying to protect the vocals. I just feel like I'm not. Like my <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I gotta protect my vocals. Yeah. Like, no well, good thing I ain't a singer. No drinks, okay? no dick sucking. Good thing I, I ain't just... trying to sing. Cause I'm gonna suck it. I for feel sure. you, and I I want to eventually suck it for the right one that okay. I know this is forever. That they deserve it. Yeah, they yeah. deserve it, and it's like safe and mm -hmm. yeah. Like, what if they said, "Come is good for your throat and your vocals"? Come cannot possibly be good. <laughs> 
for the throat. For the vocals. Yeah. I'm glad I had two drinks first. Well, <laughs> I know. I see Babyface, so like, shake his drink. I was like, does he need another one? Like, yeah. No, he's good. He's good. I, I've, been, I've been paying attention to that couple. <laughs> one day. One day. One, one day, day again. <laughs> so, Babyface, Uh-oh. you're back. You're, you're not going to ask no questions. <laughs> No, I just, no, no, no. <laughs> you're back out here in these streets again. <laughs> but how is it now being single? Um, it uh, is, maybe you're not. I don't know. Well, I have a girlfriend. Okay. So nice. Um, wow, you don't play. <laughs> how is it you don't firing? Like, well, you know, life is to be enjoyed. Short. Yeah. And and um. If you find someone that you like and someone that that you enjoy, then and and that makes you happy, then go for it. You should, Did you should she approach you? Because we know no, it kind of it kind of happened organic. Organic. Oh. Okay, he's an organic. Kind of nice. an organic yeah. thing. Love so, and how um, long have you been together? Um, I'm gonna watch. Be careful on my answers. On that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give it. Mm-hmm. He don't want to say no overlap. He said long enough. He said long enough. He said long enough. Long enough that you know it's real. Guys. <laughs> he said long enough. It's real and it's good. And, <laughs> and I think that um, I think that everybody should be um, should try to have someone in your life. Okay. Um, and so as it relates to to Ari, don't fight everybody. Oh, <gasps> yeah. I don't. Let, let let the door open a little bit. You know? She's guarded though. She's guarded. I know she's. she's trying I, to protect I, herself. I know you're guarded, top, black and and, <laughs> and you kind of have to be because of who you are now. Yeah. You know, because so that that does make a difference. So it makes it makes it a little more makes it difficult to mm. to find someone because you got to know that they're coming for you, yeah. opposed to coming for what your life is. Because you are so mm-hmm. lit, girl. Oh, yes. thank you. You are you like are. honestly. Just everything about you. You are it. Like, your music is amazing. We don't want you to settle. No. Thank no. you. You are that girl. <laughs> yes, Thank you are. You. And the thing is, but there's a balance between settling, but also like taking a risk. Because no matter who you're with, there's going to be a risk. He could Ooh. be, he could check all the boxes and it could not work, or he mm. could be a work in progress. And you guys could end up growing together. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm open. I am open, but I That's think, yeah, it's just as long as. As long as I continue with like therapy, I think I can fully be comfortable nice. in a relationship. You know, that's I, important. Yeah, it's just it's just gonna take a lot for for my guard to really come down. Cause now I feel like I'm really a lot more protective over myself. Like it's just a lot of healing needs to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the music is healing for all of us. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. <laughs> well, Babyface, we had so much fun with you. I feel like. We could have just let you do the interview. You think? Really? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, you're very I, uh, introspective and you give great gems. Like mm-hmm. even you talking about Rhonda and then tying it back in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, and he, and he can ask a good question. You can amazing. follow up, give I you know, advice. Brilliant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. So brilliant. Well, so brilliant. thank you. No, <laughs> yeah. uh, we all need like a baby face friend in our yes, life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what you think about this? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, no, it's fun. It's fun to be here. Uh, some conversations I wasn't sure I was going to here but anyway um, <laughs> i know right. like but dick that, sucking right right <laughs> exactly it's been a year but that's okay <laughs> right that's it's been more than a year yeah <laughs> some years Ooh, wait, wait, it has yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you write a song about that right what she's gonna find a way the fact that it's been over a year and some change mm-hmm oh wait how do i write a song about what oh no we're just talking about how it's about been when, I, about when I oh i would never i would never talk about <laughs> it's been too. I've, I don't even know if I'm. The song's been called. The song is called "It's Been Too Long." Right. That's the name of the song. Mm. Oh no, I would not. Ne- I don't want to make any more songs <laughs> about just sucking guys off. N- not that I ever have. I know. I was like, Where yeah. I'm like, no, right. I'm like, no, I mean, like, I mean, in a like, metaphorical way, okay. like kind of like, a, I'm just tired of like uh, coming off very like, I don't know, naive and like. I don't know, hope, hopeless, hope, hope uh, that hopeless romantic, hopeless romantic type. I like okay. being a hopeless romantic. I think it's um, exhausting. I'll jump in here and say that I think that Ari's voice is a voice where she can sing about many things mm-hmm. that matter to a lot of people, mm-hmm. and so there's so many other subjects that she can touch on in so relationships or whatever. And so Thanks. her her voice is an important voice. Yeah. Thank and, you. And I think that it's just the beginning for her. And everybody's just not just coming in on it and get, getting a, a taste of it. And I think her career is going to be long and fruitful Thank because you. she has a voice that people want to hear nice. and Thank people you. love. 
And when I um, was in the studio with her, that's what hit me immediately. And I said, this is incredible. It's what the instrument that she has and that Blanche uh, instrument. That uh, Blanche is sweet. <laughs> and, Blanche um, Rhonda over here. Right. <laughs> Blanche and Rhonda. And, and how, how easy it was for when we when we started writing because we, we did a song called Liquor. Mm, and, I like that. Uh, I'm like, she can't yep. drink right now, yep. but you know, we can. Damn, I'm, <laughs> I'm wishing I did now. <laughs> but but it was, the process was, was easy and it was fun. And it was like, you know, when you meet good people, it, it, it's easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes it it makes it fun, and you so you enjoy it. So it bothers me when people act like R and B is dead. You know how did it? I was like, there's so yes. many artists that I love. Yeah. So right. he has a whole new project with all these dope. R&B artists. artists. Yes, all these women. women. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If there was an agenda. Yeah, I mean, R&B is not dead. At all, period. Not at all. And I think it's 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 forever changing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not it's not the nineties R and B. It's it's, yeah. it's always right. it's always evolving, mm -hmm. and there are so many so many women now that that are just killing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and and so when you put it in terms of like what's on the top of the charts, uh, it's not always about the charts at this point. In fact, it's not. You know, you got at Kay all, you got Kaylani who's like, who's very rarely on the radio, but you but, see her selling, selling out these out, shows. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. people love so, her. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's just the thing. It's like today you can. You can touch people without going the traditional way. Mm -hmm. and, and you just got to, you know, their music, your music will get to them. And you just be a great artist and they'll find you. I know. And coming from a timeless artist like Babyface, like Ari Lennox, I feel like you're a timeless artist. Your voice yes. oh, and even songs that you have is things that like certain songs you're like, this is for. And there's nothing wrong with like something that's for right now. Mm -hmm. But your songs are things that like will transcend time yes. that I feel like 10 years from now, they're still going to sound current mm -hmm. 20 years from now. Forever classic. You know, oh, and Babyface, like even for you with younger kids discovering you after Versus, you said you got like 700,000 <laughs> new followers. Oh. Yeah. just from that but yeah. people will go listen to those songs and those songs we were in here talking mm -hmm. about our favorite baby face mm -hmm. songs and we couldn't even think and even songs yeah, that you so wrote many. yeah you yeah. know for, for other, other people, people. you've mm -hmm. written some of my favorite songs you know that oh, to this you. day mm -hmm. like is on the playlist mm -hmm. thank you yeah because i am the person that plays the playlist yeah. 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 hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah I, did, I have like eight playlists Same. depending really? on the mood oh, right yes. yes let me go with this she, one and the old yeah. soul too when it comes to music as well i will i will definitely but i like to go all over the place with it yeah because i like spread. songs that like i could put on some motown I could put on some 80s, 90s army, but then I could throw it in with some stuff from today. Mm -hmm. And I look at people like you, I look at her, you know, I look at Brent Fias, I look at Daniel Caesar, I look at all of those artists, you know, from today. And I feel like the feel that it gives me still is like a very... Timeless. Yeah, yeah. timeless. I like yeah, timeless yeah. music, yeah. period. Yeah. If it comes out today or if it came out 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm the same way. That's great. Same. So, well, thank you so much for joining. I feel like we got to do like you. a part two, maybe when the album Girls Night yeah. Out comes yes. out. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Because you know we're going to have a lot of these women on here already. Mm -hmm. But Ari, congratulations to you. Thank I you. mean, I've seen people talking about how amazing your album is and doing the best and talking about like Ari Lennox is it. Mm -hmm. And so we've been through that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank but you. it's just yes. nice to see like everybody giving you your props. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Well thank deserved. you, baby yep. face, for being so sweet and letting me on your project. It means the world to me you deserve to be there so oh, anyway, thank, you. Letting you, so. thank you i can't yeah. wait till next time she comes and she's like y'all i'm in love yes, <laughs> i, 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 I want to be here i want to be here for that one then yeah, right. oh. he took his hat off he got his own place <laughs> right <laughs> spring is we over got oh, man. that would September be beautiful fall. <laughs> <laughs> all right well baby face ari lennox lip service jasmine brand thank you for sitting in with us today no too. problem yes mm -hmm. thank you lip service <laughs>